Leva Legacy Roundtables are designed to offer insight into the teamwork it takes to make a transition successful. Joining me today are Danny Kleinfelter of Texas A&M and Tommy Dell, a third generation farmer from our Farm Bureau case study family of Carroll County, Maryland. Danny, Tommy, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. You're welcome. To give Danny kind of an introduction of where we are, Tommy, tell him a little bit about where we are in the planning process and what you expect or where the operation now is going in the future. Um, at this point, my uh, uncle is ready to retire and step away from the business, and my older brother and I are kind of, my, my dad will be taking over for now, and then our, our next step of this transition will be my brother and I taking mm -hmm. over. Um, we've gone through a lot of the processes with Kevin. Uh, my wife is now taking over the accounting mm -hmm. uh, from my grandmother, who did it for years. Um, and now we're, you know, pushing the next step and see what comes. So as we look at the next iteration of the business, the next growth opportunity is really you, you stepping into a more management role with your dad. Your yes. professional development is going to be critically important. What do we do with that, Danny? Well, I guess first of all, I'd ask, have you involved yourself in any just formal continuing education? Um, I've been to, on, served on a few boards, uh, our Southern States Board, our local Southern States Co-op Board, and going to the uh, young cooperators uh, meeting okay. with them and learned a lot through that and through the Commodity Classic and uh, been to that several times and learned from a lot of different people there, whether the, the meetings there mm -hmm. or other other farmers and through contacts with them. I guess one of the things I'd suggest is that you do have a formal development plan. You start put down, what pieces do I need to do to get myself exposed, to, to stretch myself? And I think continuing education is a part of it, not just because I'm at a university and with extension, I think that's critical, but this executive development program for ag producers I run would be one option. Mm -hmm. Faculty from all over the place, producers, half the value you get would be from the other people. I think that's something to think about building your network, whether you want to call them mentors, peers, and I don't know, do you do any of that where you have people that I've, bounce ideas off of? Yeah, um, friends in, uh, in the construction industry okay. and you know, in our area that's fairly mm -hmm. big and learn a lot from them and other farmers around, very, uh, other successful farmers in our area, uh, try to learn from them or you know, be around them as much as I can and learn from them. I think that that's important. I mean, that picking successful people, people that challenge you, people that can add some additional insights. I guess the one thing I would suggest is that in addition to around your area, you find some ways to network yourself a little broader. I, I use TPAP as an example because people come from all over, but the, the southern states things, that sometimes I think people get too commodity or too geographic specific. I guess in terms of do you guys have a formal business plan? Not yet, but that's one of the things we're working on with Kevin, and uh, we're, that's uh, one of our next steps is having that in, in place. Because I guess I think that can be a tremendous development tool. It's, the dis it's not just getting the document. It's the discussions that take place, not just between you and your dad, but your brothers, your wife, others, just getting each other's perspectives, how things interact, you know, the finances. What could happen? What would we do if it did? I mean, how do outside forces play in on this? And I think the thought process and interaction, that's education. So, Absolutely. Go ahead. Because I, I was going to say, so, so what I'm hearing is that we should have some kind of a, an action plan, some mm -hmm. kind of a f more formalized process right. for development. And it isn't, it isn't one single element. It's no. multifaceted. Maybe it deals with some education, some experience. Right. network or mentors in and outside the mm -hmm. industry, in and outside our commodity group, and, and maybe across the United States if I tap into the right right, right opportunity. I think that's true. So. Go ahead. I, 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 I like the commodity class that we learned from people from mm -hmm. Wisconsin and Texas and mm -hmm. Louisiana, metal, you know, farmers from all over, and not, not just in the corn, but, you know, through wheat and different growers from all over, and I've learned a lot from how they run their business and talking to them, so that's part of that. And I think one of the things you need to think about is not just what do you need right now, but as you and the business <coughs> grow, I mean, what are going to be the skill sets and some of the perspectives you need to take that next step? 
and and that's part of it is Kevin you talk about getting outside and people maybe that you say you want to grow from larger operations that have gone through that process how is ag changing and part of the key to this whole thing I think is that you don't have to know it all no. you have to be willing to go out and find it tap into those folks that can help you learn from some of your well, let's call them third-party alliances you've, you've got alliances throughout the agricultural industry so how do we pull those key people in or those key resources in to help us build a what what I often refer to as a business bigger than self okay? I, agree. I, th I think that's important uh, you will nobody will ever know it all or even come <laughs> close to knowing a fraction of everything that would be nice to know. But it's, it's a continuous process. And I think you need to set priorities and the action plan just so you're continually moving in that direction. I mean, one of the things, business plans, Kevin talked about, do you, as you're starting this process, do you talk about the things that we've done and what have we learned from our experiences? Yep. Danny, Tommy, thank you. Thank okay. you. When we return, Danny and I will talk about the elements of a good professional development plan and the education, experience, and mentor relationships you should consider. Chalk Talk is next. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. And better choices start with Pioneer hybrids. Match the right product to the right acre and you'll see results. Y Series soybeans from Pioneer, for example. They're redefining yield potential field by field. Powered by our exclusive accelerated yield technology system, they're the next generation of high performing Pioneer varieties with bred in pest resistance traits. It's easy to see why growers plant Pioneer brand soybean varieties on more acres than any other brand. On the agronomic terrain, the best outcomes depend on the best advice. A pioneer sales professional realizes no two fields are alike, so no one product is the answer. We offer decades of collective wisdom supported by hundreds of agronomy experts with state-of-the-art knowledge. So choose the right product for the right acre. Choose the people and the company who are out there with you every day, every season. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. And better choices start with Pioneer hybrids. <laughs> 